Let you know, man, you are really encouraging me, motivating me, inspiring me. But God is really using you to help me out. Bro. What's going on, family? You guys are so amazing. I'm Mr. AOS Inspires. This is AOS the podcast. I'm crazy excited about today. This episode, listen, I, and I know I get it. I know some of y'all are gonna holler back at your boy and be like, listen, every episode you open up and say that you're excited about this episode, it's gonna be the best episode. Listen, this episode, I believe this is gonna open the door, open the the gateway uh, for a lot of understanding in relationships. That's number one. I, I want to open up for a lot of understanding in relationship, but then also to, I want to speak truth to knowledge or speak truth to power in this relationship because it's crazy in this, this episode because so many people go into relationships just like what I'm talking about on today. Right, like you go in just like this, and I really want to adjust your ocular lens so that you can understand a little bit better. Um, you may already know this; just may be a reminder for some of you all. But some of you all like toxicity, and I want to help those out that loves toxicity because it's crazy. Because usually the dynamics is different. You like toxicity, and this person hates toxicity. The person that you're with. And now you end up damaging a new person, somebody that may have done the work, may have went through the process, may have got healed from a past relationship, but you haven't got healed. You're toxic. So I, I want to help you all out uh, on today. This episode, listen, I want to thank each and every one of you for your follows, your likes, your shares. Listen, big shout out to everybody that follow us and supports us on IG. IG, we just hit uh, 10,200 likes or 200 followers, 10,200 followers. You guys are so amazing. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you that helped us hit that milestone. We're not done yet. Our next milestone is 11, I mean, 13,000. 13 13,000 uh, that's that's what that's that's the goal 13,000 we want to hit that by the end of next month and uh, I mean we just we just rolling we just rolling and I want to say thank you to each and every one of you guys that supports uh that shares listen I need y'all to pull over to Instagram I mean YouTube YouTube we're working on we're working heavily heavily on YouTube I just hired a new team I'm excited about this new team this new team is dope uh if you go to our YouTube page you'll see some things that have shifted they are doing an amazing job uh, man, I, I love my team. I got a great team. I believe that we have a great starting lineup. We're still working through some fine things. I had to fire somebody last week, but it's all cool in the gang. I, I believe that we're on the right track um, to building great momentum so that we can get monetized on YouTube as well. Not just so that we can get the checks, but when the money start rolling in like that for real, for real, then we'll be able to do some great Great, great, great impact into your your lives. And, you know, we've been to do even greater, do things on a different scale, um, start doing some uh, shows, start doing some tours. I'm excited about bringing other people on. I'm excited about some guests. That's Listen, I know you guys keep on hearing me talk about the guests, but I'm crazy excited about the guests. The guests are going to drop some juice. But listen, let's let's cut the preliminaries. Let's go ahead and get started. But if you're on IG, follow us right now, AOS The Podcast, YouTube, AOS The Podcast, Instagram, TikTok. TikTok, y'all been showing us some crazy love. Thank you so much, all the supporters on TikTok. Uh, TikTok is AOS the podcast. Facebook is AOS the podcast. Um, wherever you just Google AOS the podcast, something about us to pop up on all platforms. Just follow all platforms. We post something different and it's very unique on every single platform, but I want you to stay connected. I don't want you to miss nothing that we are about to release. As I said before, we have a new team and our team is on fire. I'm crazy excited, but let's go ahead and jump in. So this episode on today, I want to dig deep into this. As I said before, most people, a lot of y'all are toxic and the toxicity does not look good on you at all. I mean, it just don't, it don't look good on you. Like I need you to rub that toxicity off. I need you to wash that toxic. Listen, any toxic relationships in 2023 needs to be diminished. It needs to be thrown away. Stop wasting your time in toxic relationships, period. But what I want to talk about on today, if you have to play Inspector Gadget in a relationship, you don't need to be in there. I don't know how we're going to title it. I'm going to talk to my team, but that's what we're talking about. If you have to play, if you have to be Inspector Gadget in a relationship, you don't need to be in a relationship at all. Like, And it's crazy. I'm, I'm going to start with this first. I get it. 
you have been through hurt. You've been hurt before. Especially, just check out the next episode that I'm going to drop on Wednesday. It's, 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 it's bananas. Next Wednesday. It's bananas. Um, I, I get it. You've been hurt before in relationships. Your feelings has been hurt. You've been cheated on. People have mishandled you. But this is the thing I tell people. Before you get out of a relationship, even if you mentally checked out already, before you or when you get out that relationship and before you get into a new relationship, heal from all of the past trauma and the past drama and all the toxicity. Because if you don't heal, what will happen is you're you pack yourself a, a, a bag subconsciously and you're going into this new relationship with all this baggage, all this all these issues and all these problems, right? And you're bringing it into a new relationship that a person that you're in relationship with has nothing to do with. Like this person is totally different from the person that you were with. I mean, totally different. They are not even thinking about doing you like the other person did you. Matter of fact, they, they treat you totally different and you know it. So my question becomes, why don't you, and I get it. You don't want to be lonely. You don't want to go out to dinner by yourself. I get it, but I don't get it at the same time because it bothers me because how is it that you want to be in a relationship with somebody, but you can't be in relationship with yourself? Bars. Listen, it's a, it, listen, That's the first thing that you need to ask somebody before y'all go on a date. Have you been on a date by yourself? Do you take yourself to the movies? Do you feel comfortable enough taking yourself to the movies? That is a major, in my book, that's a major red flag. If a person cannot take themselves out to, on, to dinner or take themselves to the movies by themselves and just date themselves, that's the issue. Because if you can't love yourself, how are you going to love somebody else properly? You can't. It's impossible because this is how we this is how we set it up. We teach people through our actions how we treat ourselves, how to love us. You can't handle me any kind of way because I don't handle myself any kind of way. I have standards and I hold strong to my standards. Many people in relationships have not healed from past relationships. So what they're doing is they're bringing all that baggage into a new relationship. Let me start with this one. If you feel the need to check that brother phone or to check that sister phone, it's time for you to turn around, do about face and go about your business, period. Why are you checking phone? You grown now. Why? I don't care if you're 18 years old. Why are you checking phone? That that is a toxic, unhealthy relationship. If I got listen, if I gotta check your phone to see who you're talking to and what you're doing, because I feel so insecure enough that I feel like you're doing something we don't need to be together. Because if you do something behind my back, if you and, and, and you know what's done in the dark will come to light. My dad always told me, give a brother some rope, give a sister some rope, they're gonna hang themselves, period. That's how it always happens because they get lazy, they get comfortable, they get sloppy, and you'll find out eventually, but you you don't want to find out like that. But in a relationship, if you got to check, I'm starting with this one, if you have to check their phones, that relationship should be dead. I'm done. I'm out of here. Like, like I I don't want to play inspector gadget. I didn't, I'm not a police officer. I'm not a crime investigator. I'm not an investigator at all. And I'm not going to be one in this relationship. Now... Now, for all those that it doesn't qualify if you're sitting down and they have their phone there and you just happen to see something, not that you were looking for anything. It was just right there and you just happened to you, whatever. I'm not talking about y'all. Y'all are different. Y'all get a pass. But I'm talking about those that go in people in, in your spouse's or your person's phone. You type in the passcode and you start diddling, dabbling. Because this is what I tell people all the time. And, and it's so this is such an old phrase. If you go looking for something, you're going to find what you're looking for, period. Even if you're not looking for something, when you're looking for something, you're going to find something that you really don't want to find. I promise you, in every, they don't even have to be cheating. It looks like they cheated. Because when you go looking for something, you're going to find what you're looking for every single time. So in a relationship, this is a big part. This is a big part of your checklist. Like, like for real, make this your checklist. If you have to check, right, a, a, a person's phone, man or a woman, if I got to check your phone, we don't need to be together. Period. Like if, if, if like, like for real, for real, if I have to. If I have to check your phone to see if you're doing anything in this relationship, I, listen, I'm done. I'm I'm gone. Because th- this is the thing. <sighs> What'll happen is that I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you the steps. 
What happened is you'll think that they're doing something and you find something that you think you found. You think you found something, right? And most people play a cool. They won't say anything for the first, I don't know, three weeks, month, whatever. They, they'll just let it slide. They won't say nothing, right? They, they'll think that they found something. They'll let it go. And then when they get another opportunity to check their phone, they'll check it again, right? And most people that, now, you know, a person that's a live wire, they're they going to say something immediately, even if they don't have no hard evidence, it's crazy. But you have other people that will allow it to linger on and stack it up to make sure that they have hardcore evidence. You don't need that's too much. That's too much time wasted. Like how how much time do you have on your hands that you're going to live your life, right? Take care of the business and everything else that you need to take care of, but then also be in a relationship with this person. But then not only be in a relationship with this person, but be an investigator to check to see what they're doing. That, that's crazy. That's, that's banana. If I don't listen, number one thing in relationship, you cannot have finances, right? Let's really be honest. In a relationship, number one thing to have, even if you don't have finances, okay, it's not a good look, but okay, cool. We can work through that. Even I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go even further and say this, even if we really don't have love, right, in the relationship, like we just like each other a lot, you can still get by with that. But if I don't trust you, trust is number one in the relationship. If I don't trust you, this relationship will not work. Why? Because I'm always going to confine in somebody else. I'm always going to mess around and cheat with some because I don't trust you. I don't trust you. Right. You're always going to be hiding things. You're always going to be keeping things away from the person that you claim that you're in love with or the person that you claim that you're in a relationship with. When I don't trust you, the relationship cannot be strong at all. I just freed about a hundred of y'all right quick. Stop. Listen, it's crazy. Why are you going playing investigator? It kills me and it's so immature to me that you will make up a fake pay. Listen, I'm, I'm going to tell you this now. And this is confirmation for a lot of y'all. If you got to make up a fake Facebook page, a fake Instagram page, just to check and see what your person doing, you need to just, that's too much work. I need us to be working on building something like an empire, building a business, building something that we can create and generate generational wealth. I don't need to be building a profile to see if you cheating with old shawty. I don't need to be building build a profile to see if you're still liking your ex's pictures. Like, let's, let's, come on, let's, when, listen, some of y'all complain about toxic relationships, but you keep on entertaining them. Ballers. Many of y'all need to log off right now because I just made y'all hot. Many of y'all complain and you, I'm going to tell you this, another thing too, that's so childish, I cannot stand. I hate when women or men post on Facebook their issues, like subliminal posts. Nah, like, like be grown and go talk to the person that you're in a relationship with. This bothered me right here. And if they say the, the key phrase, oh, you insecure. That's a sign that it's time for you to go because they don't respect or value how you feel, period, right? And it bothers me because many of you are wasting time. What are you wasting time doing? Building profiles, right? I, I get, And I heard this story last week and it's crazy because uh, it's just too much work. One of the persons built a profile on, I think, Bumble or yeah, Bumble, some kind of dating app, right? Just to check to see was the person that they're in relationship with on Bumble because they got a clue and got heard that they're on, they're still on the dating sites. Like, I mean, if 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 I can't talk to you, right, direct, this is grown folks talking. If I can't talk to you directly about my feelings and how I feel and what I'm suspecting. Then we don't need to be in a relationship. It's, it's been, and I get it. I understand. You don't want to scare a person off because of the way that you feel. So this lets me know that when you get into a relationship and immediately you begin to feel like things is not on the up and up, this lets me know that you're not completely healed. And when you're not completely healed, watch this. And it's crazy. It works two ways. It works two ways. I'm going to finish this statement, but it works two ways. Most people that get into relationships that feel as if that the person is cheating on them, it works two ways. Either they're cheating, so they're suspecting you for cheating as well, or they haven't healed from a past issue. And when I haven't healed from a past issue, everything that you do, I'm going to blame you because my ex did the same thing to me and it looks similar. That's why I told you in the episode last week, you need to forgive and forget. 
Because if you keep on remembering and keep on reliving it, you will. It's, it's just like a sore, right? The sore that healed, right? And it, it's good. It's hard, but you keep on picking at it, and now it's bust back open. Now it's bleeding, and it has. It, it, and it takes. All, it's another process that it has to go through to heal. That's the same way in relationships. Many of you haven't healed yet. So since you haven't healed, you thought that you healed, but you really haven't healed because you keep on reliving the old stuff that happened to you. Or better yet, you keep on telling a friend, oh, I got another episode that I want to tell y'all. Stop confiding in people to make a decision on something based upon that you need to make a decision on. Make that make sense. Many of you are going through issues in your relationship, right? You're playing, playing investigator, but as you play investigator, you're telling your friend about everything that's going on in your relationship, how you feel. So you base your decisions based upon what they, the advice that they give you. It's bananas to me. I need you to grow up, think for yourself, think for yourself and make a decision that you feel is necessary and great for your life. Stop. Listen, I'm tell, I'm going to say this again. If I have to play Inspector Gadget in a relationship, I'm not going to st- listen. Even in the friendship, even in the partnership with business, if I feel like I'm not, we're not trust is the foundation to every single relationship. I don't care how you cu- cut it, how you chop it up, how you try to dress it up. Trust is the foundation to every single relationship. Because if I don't trust you, we can't be in, we can't do nothing together. We can't build together. We can't get no money together. Nothing. Because if I I don't trust you, I I just, I can't have you in my circle, right? I need people that's connected to me that I trust, right? Because there may be a time where a hundred thousand dollars is on the line, a million dollars on the line. My life may be on the line. I'm not saying that you trust your life with anybody, but what I'm saying is things may be on the line that may cost you a lot. And if you keep on putting it in people's hands that you don't trust, man, it could mess up your life indefinitely. Like, like I know we hear this all the time, right? That your past can't mess up your future, but sometimes it can. Because we made one wrong move, one wrong decision. Now, I know a guy that me and him used to work together years ago when I was 18 years old. We used to be Merchant Marines together, right? And he went overseas. And, you know, anybody that's been in the service, you already know what happens when you go overseas. You see the shortest, right? And he caught herpes and came back to the States, found out he had herpes. So what I'm saying is sometimes your decisions can ruin the, your entire life. Now, if you follow Dr. Sabi and you follow the natural herbalist, of course, they, they have a cure for herpes. There's a cure for a lot. There's a cure for everything. Right. You know, and it all depends on, you know, how you attack it. Uh, but I mean, that 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 affects his life indefinitely. Because, you know, the woman that he had at the time was his child's mother and they broke up because of this issue. Right. So so I I just I don't want to play investigator in a relationship. I'm not I'm not going to play investigator in a relationship. Right. Because this, like I said, this is the fact you need to heal from whatever issue that you're faced against in a past relationship. I get it. You want to be in a relationship. You you love relate. You love love. I get it. But I need you to love love to the degree where you're like, listen, I need to heal before I get into another relationship. Because if you do something similar, when I'm not healed, I blame everything that they did on you. Because I think that I'm about to relive this whole relationship. But when I'm healed and you do something similar to what my ex did, I won't be bothered because I know I'm dealing with a new person. It's just just like this and I'm done. This is the best example I can think about. How many of y'all have ever went to a restaurant, a chain restaurant, right? Let's say McDonald's. You went to McDonald's and you went to this McDonald's and you had a horrible experience, right? I mean, the management was horrible. I mean, everybody had attitudes. They, the food was disgusting. The way that they put it together, it just wasn't right, right? So you went from that McDonald's, but you went to another McDonald's and another another McDonald's that you went to, you did not hold them at the same standards that you held the last McDonald's to. Why? Because you're like, listen, I'm in a new place. I'm in a new area. I know that the service and the people are different and your experiences was different, right? Many of you would say, I'm never going back to this McDonald's. You never say, I'm never going back to McDonald's indefinitely. 
Depends on the situation. If it was a racial racial case, racial issue, you probably say, listen, I'm not going to know none of those restaurants. I get it. I'm not going to know McDonald's. I was racially profiled at this man. I'm never, I get it. But I'm talking about if you had bad service at one restaurant, you're not going to say, I'm not going to none of these chain restaurants. I'm never going. No, I'm going to another restaurant. I, I give them another shot and it's going to be a different experience. You will not hold the same standards that you had at the other restaurant because you were hurt there. But I'm expecting something different here. Same thing with relationships. When you are healed, watch this. When you healed, you approach the relationship totally different. Issues that pop up, you approach them totally, you give them grace. And many of you have not healed. And since you have not healed, you have no grace for your new person. And this is why your relationship is going down a spiral circle down the drain because you haven't healed yet. I need you to heal before you move on. I love you guys to life. This is AOS, the podcast, AOS uh, inspires. Listen, I'm excited about what we're about to drop. I need you to stay connected, remain connected. We out of here. This has been another episode. If you got to play inspector in your relationship, it's a, it's a flag. It's a sign that it's time for you to go. I love you guys to life. I'll catch you guys next week. Let go.